All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. Put more the second. can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Oh, you got it. Shoop doo wah, shoop doo wah. Go and meet the family. Talking about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums, we might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me. You're my family. Any curve that life may throw, any way the wind may blow. Brother, ain't it good to know we're three? Life is full of stress and strife. You lose a lover, leave a wife. A brother's a brother for all your life. But we're brothers. Shoot the love. Good. Yeah, that's oh, good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Donald, must you always enter like Loretta Young? Yes. <laughs> Joe, guy at table five propositioned me. You're kidding. He wants to take me to San Francisco, ply me with champagne, and ravage my body overlooking the bay. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Give me the night off and a scarf. <laughs> Kelly. Right. Hey, hey, hey! And three hays to you, Lou. Hey, Donnie, what's shaking? I don't mean that in a clinical sense. <laughs> Louis, a little late for a lunch break, isn't it? What are you, my mother? Cliffy, give me a bottle of scotch. And uh, give Donnie there something with an umbrella in it. <laughs> okay, Lou, you're drinking in the afternoon. What's on your mind? There ain't nothing on my mind. I believe him. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. So, oh, Donald, how's your life? A oh, homosexual's here, homosexual. <laughs> Come on, Lou, spit it out. Something's obviously eating you up. Well, this ain't easy. You see, I'm a proud man, and uh, I know sometimes I seem like a gavoon. A what? <laughs> a gavoon. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> the point is, I got to tell Flo something, and uh, I don't know how. Lou, what did you do? You get some woman pregnant? Now, don't try to cheer me up. This is serious. <laughs> I got fired. Lou, what happened? Well, me and the boss got into a disagreement out there about which one of us was the less handsome. <laughs> and so he fired you? Well, things got kind of hot there. I might have mentioned something about his mother having teeth like a giraffe. <laughs> He fired me. Oh, gee, Lou, you must feel terrible. Oh, hey, don't worry about me. I mean, the boss is going to come crawling back. <laughs> and if not, I'll get something. It's Flo that I'm worried about. You see, Flo don't know what kind of guy she's married to. That must be a comfort to her. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you know, What's the use of worrying? Like the song says. Que sera, sera. Yeah, that's a good one, too, but I was thinking of the one with Doris Day. Whatever will be, will be. I know. What, well, are you going to open the door or what? I'm thinking. Donald! Hey, what's going on out there? Oh, it's all right, there. I'm a friend of Donald's. Not one of his fag friends. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I hope I'm not protruding here. <laughs> I mean, if if you got some flit in here, I'll go. I mean, this is your house here. You do what you want to. I mean, whatever turns you around. No. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. You see, I, uh, I've been out of work now for a while, and... Oh, is you going to eat this sweet roll? Not until breakfast. Oh, good. <laughs> is there something I can do for you, or did you just come over to forage for food? Okay. I need you to help me with that. A civil service primer? Yeah, I've been looking for work for a couple of weeks now, and believe me, there ain't much out there for a guy over 40 with no job training. I guess not. I did find a matchbook cover said I could become an ordained minister. What'd you have to do, draw the Pope in a pirate's hat? <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. But the point is, the government has got to take you if you pass this test, no matter how stupid you are. Now, Lou, stop it. You're not stupid. You don't think so? No. And I'm not just saying that to make you feel better or because I think you want me to. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying it. <laughs> Would well, you think you could help me with that? I guess so. Why'd you come to me? Donald, you may think I don't respect you. And I don't, because you're a flip. <laughs> on the other hand, you're the smartest guy I know. Why, Lou, that was almost kind of you to say. I mean, you're smart for a regular guy. Now, a homosexual, I don't know. Maybe you're just average, because homos is pretty smart. <laughs> but I guess you gotta be smart to talk some guy out of his jockey shorts. No! <laughs> I don't understand why you didn't go to your brothers. Cause I'm their big brother. They look up to me. They'd understand. I don't know how to ask. See, I always been the one to take charge. I took care of Joe and Cliffy and then uh, Flo and the kids and... I mean, I can take care of people. I don't know how to ask. Uh, I'm scared, Donald. Oh, Lou. I ain't that scared. <laughs> Could we get on with this? Sure. <laughs> now, first, the application, okay? Uh, how much formal education have you had? All. <laughs> all? You see, I went to a Catholic school. We had to wear a tie every day, so all my education was formal. <laughs> Lou. What grade did you go up to in school? Seventh. You left school in the seventh grade? I had to, got drafted. <laughs> Lou, it says you have to have a high school diploma. Oh, I got that. Oh, I got that in the army. Oh, well. Colonel Parker was my teacher. Okay, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, date of birth. Oh, gee, that's a tough one. Let me think here. <laughs> you don't know your date of birth? <laughs> I thought you was talking about Colonel Parker's date of birth. <laughs> seconds left in the game. The 76ers will inbound the ball, but wait. Moses Malone is injured, and Cliff Waters comes in at center. The man they said would never walk again. <laughs> and the crowd is loving it. <sighs> There's the pass. Waters has the ball. 
If he makes this shot, the 76ers win. If he misses, they lose, and a man named Nunzio will shoot his dog. <laughs> There's five seconds on the clock. <laughs> Moses Malone out again? Yep. Have you heard from Lou? No. It's been a couple of days. I just wonder if he's okay. I'm telling you, he's really taken being fired well. Yeah, I wish he weren't. Why? He's so pig-headed. He is such an ape. All he has to do is apologize to his boss. Joe, why do you always have to call him names? He's pig-headed. He's an ape. He's our brother. You know, he's in trouble, and he's sensitive. Me and Flo split up. Could I have a banana? <laughs> you split up with Flo? Why? She went behind my back like a snake in the past. What? I obviously ain't man enough for her. She went outside the house to get what only I'm supposed to give her. Flo slept with another man? She did. <laughs> she didn't? I don't know. I just heard about her getting a job. I think that's a great idea. Flo and another man, you're sick. It means Flo getting a job. Well, if she's got another guy, why can't he work for her? We're finished. <laughs> Lou, Flo is not seeing another man. She's not? No. Look, I misunderstood what you said. About what? <laughs> Flo got a job. I know about the job. I'm trying to find out about this other guy. <laughs> There is no guy. Now, why did you leave Flo? Just because she got a job? Yeah, I mean, that there's an insult to my pride. I mean, I know I'm going to get something else. I just know it. Lou, you can't walk out on Flo and the kids just because of your pride. Oh, no, well, I did. I mean, I don't want to be no piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to be a wind instrument? A piccolo. A guy who lives off a woman by giving her the fruit of his loom. That's gigolo. Whatever. Anyway, I'm out. I'm out and I'm staying out. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I took the civil service test. You took the civil service test. I didn't tell you. Lo. <laughs> Flo is the one that's going to be sorry. Flo and the boss. When they see my test grade, they're going to know what Lou Waters is made of. I'm garbage. <laughs> Lo. Garbage. I am garbage. Lo. I was so confident. I still don't understand how you got thrown out of the Pennsylvania civil service exam. Bodily. <laughs> he means why, Lou? For talking. For talking? Who gave the test? A nun? Might have been. I don't know. I was in the middle of a fist fight. <laughs> With whom? Some old broad. <laughs> you fought a woman? She was the one that snitched on me. Lou, Lou, you fought an old lady? She was poking at my eye with an umbrella. I was just parrying. <laughs> Lou? I want you to tell me as clearly as you can exactly what happened. I got caught cheating. Lou, there are other jobs. I looked. I mean, I want to work. I'm a working man. At least I was. I had respect. Now I'm just a guy with a wife who's got to take a job to support her kids. Nothing. Lou, uh, what do you say you work here for a while? Don't insult me. I don't need no charity. No, no. We could use the help, right, Joe? Yeah, Kelly's always complaining about being overworked. I don't know nothing about waiting on tables. It'll be great, the three brothers working together. Come on, what do you say, Lou? Maybe I could do it uh, temporarily. Or until I get a job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then it's settled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Kelly. Lou's gonna work with us for a while. Isn't that great? <laughs> Ready. 
a what, a luau? I said grab an apron. I didn't mean one of Kelly's. Look silly, huh? Why not? I'm worthless. I mean, I used to be a leader of men. What am I here? Lou, Lou, a man is more than his job. No, he ain't. Lou, you have a job. You're... You are the head waiter at the point after. Is that good? That's good. If I'm the head waiter, can I boss Kelly around? I'm the owner, and I can't boss Kelly around. <laughs> Here comes your first customer. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Good afternoon. Please, come right this way. Here you go. Here we go. This is Lou. He'll be a waiter this afternoon. Hello there. Hello. Did you tell me the specials? No. <laughs> no? I don't remember them. What kind of a waiter are you? Really bad, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I just started. I could be worse. I am so ashamed. <laughs> Hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. Fine. Uh, is Joe here? He's in his room. Something the matter? What time is it, Cliff? 8.30. 8.30. I skipped dinner. It happens. Fine. Well, then you just get some of your tramp fag friends to come over and cook for you. <laughs> Look, Lou, I appreciate everything no, you're doing you around... don't. I mean, did you even notice the tile in the bathroom? No! I don't even know why I bothered to mop and glow. <laughs> it's lovely. I'm sorry. Could we go to a movie tonight? I've got to go to school. Oh, I had my heart set on a movie! All right, all right! What is going on out here? I was trying to talk on the phone inside. You're yelling. Have we talked about yelling in this house? <laughs> hey, Lou, I am getting sick of this. I'm going to go lie down here. I'm all flushed. <laughs> A little premenstrual. Hi, Dad. Hi, Uncle Cliff. Hey, Hi. Hank. What have you got there? Uh, Uncle Lou wants to learn how to sew. Oh, and you're going to teach him. Get real. <laughs> the closest I get to a needle and thread is if I marry a surgeon. Leave it to him to practice with getting serious. I am getting scared. You know, I don't mind giving him a job or a place to live, but he is becoming the woman of the house. The other night I came home late, he was waiting on the couch with a rolling pin. I'm telling you, Joe, it's not gonna last forever. Believe me, you're overreacting. Joe, if you really cared about me, you'd buy me a sewing machine. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's a beer missing here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lou, what are you doing? Keep him from slopping over. Here you go. Oh, geez. Cliff, tell me the truth. Has he been doing that all day? Joe, the whole world's been dumping on him needs to find himself. You're right. Oh, you two are helping Lou find himself. Donald, you don't understand. This is family. Well, what are you, his brothers or his teddy bears? <laughs> Look, he needs someone. He used to have himself. But you took that away from him. You can't give a man self-respect. Lou. You. You've been drinking. You smell it on my breath? I can smell it on your clothes. <laughs> well, you just take a swig of this and you'll never notice. <laughs> Look, Lou, uh, you and I have to have a little talk. Uh, See, ever since you got fired from your job... Oh, I know. I've been drinking on the job, right? Lou. Well, look, I'm no good at this. I mean, you want to rub it in? Go ahead, rub it in. Lou. You know what I did? I give somebody in here a dirty dish. That's right. I made a mistake. I give uh, probably a couple people in here dirty dishes. And I don't even know who to. Could be anybody. I'm no 
good, Joe. I was good for one thing. I'm no good now. Whoa. I think I only lost a job. I lost a dream. Sounds stupid, huh? But I have dreams, too. I mean, not like you or a Cliffy there. I, I never wanted to be no football star or a college boy, but I have dreams. You remember Mr. Potamus? Yeah. You made him for me when I was a kid. Sure I remember. You were always so good with your hands. I even thought I might grow up to be a carpenter, you know, build stuff. But then Korea come along and I got drafted. I thought I was going to die, so I married Flo. <laughs> and off I went. When I come back, I figured I'd use my GI Bill, you know, to get into carpentry school, but bang! Flo gets pregnant with her oldest son there, and I gotta go to work. Pop gets me started in construction, and uh, I never made it to carpentry school. I'm sorry, Lou. At least I was building something, you know? I mean, I had something to be proud of. I got nothing to be proud of now. Oh, damn it, Lou. I am sick of hearing that. Pride. You keep going on about how that job gave you pride. Made you a man. Well, you have got it all backwards. <laughs> Will you listen to me? You brought pride to that job. You never showed up there drunk. And you were a good man. A good man because you did what you had to do to take care of Flo and the kids. Of course you don't feel like a man now. You turned your back on them and walked out the door. You're my brother. You're supposed to understand. I understand. You're fired. <laughs> Well, how did it go? I fired him. You what? How did he take it? I don't know, but I think he'll understand. I'm gonna kill you. Or not. <laughs> yeah, you fire me. You can't fire me. I'm your brother. That's why I did it, don't you see? It's bad enough I gotta work in this crummy place. I mean, I wouldn't even eat here if it wasn't for free, but to get fired. <laughs> Lou, I think you're missing the point. You're here. gonna be missing more than a point. Uh-huh. You see, that's exactly what I mean. What the hell are you talking about? When you got fired from construction, you sort of curled up to die. But now, look at you. You're fighting for your job. Hey, I'm not a bad guy. I was trying. That's my point. You are a good guy. You are a great guy and a hard worker. But you turned into Lou the Quitter. Well, I guess that makes us even, because you're going to be Joe the Bleeder. <laughs> well, who I remember. Lou, Lou, I know you're upset and a little angry. Yes. Probably devastated. Yes. And you have every right to be. Look, I would want to kill him myself. Oh, great speech, Cliff. <laughs> Lou, Lou, you didn't finish. Look, I know what you're going through. You do? I do. Look, when I was coming out, I had the same fears and doubts you do. Look, I doubted myself. My manhood. And then I just realized that so long as you like yourself inside, that's all that matters. And that's what Joe's trying to tell you. You calling me a flit? Thanks again. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I give up. I give up. I don't know what else to tell you. Come on. Ain't no fun unless you run. <laughs> well, I'm not going to run, Lou. What'd you expect me to do? I mean, I was humidified. <laughs> What'd you want me to do? Go crawling back to that squat little toad and beg and say I deserve another chance? Well, I don't think that's the best way to ask for your job back. <laughs> what job? I'm talking about Flo. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah, I'm going to go back. I want to get out on my hands and knees. I want to say... Please take me back, because I need you. Ah, oh, Lou, you really do love Flo. 
What flow? I'm talking about the boss. <laughs> I knew you'd come around, buddy. I gotta thank you, Joe. I mean, you did what you had to do. So now I guess I... Uh, I gotta do what I gotta do. Patch things up with your wife and boss. Well, I was thinking more in terms of your neck, your bulging eyes, your senseless cries for help. Can I have a count of ten? Sure, you're my brother. One, two, alive. Yeah! <laughs>